What is up guys, Mega Spider-Man Freak here, and sorry guys for taking so long to make this movie review, but hey, it's finally here. So let's talk about Spider-Man 3. Seven years ago, Sony Pictures decided to make a third Spider-Man film, and things didn't come out the way they had hoped. But not only was it a bad movie, but people seemed to forget that there were good, mo there were good parts in the movie. For example, the CGI had great improvements and the fight scenes were just incredible. Yes, many of us hate the fact that they changed the storyline by saying Clint Marco was Uncle Ben's killer. But if you come down to think about it, it wasn't such a bad twist either, because there was a connection from the bad guy to the superhero. And like my other reviews, let's talk about the actors and their characters. First off, there is the protagonist, protagonist Toby Maguire, aka Peter Parker. Toby played as Peter in this film. His character had a funny twist in Spider-Man 3, especially after he gets the black suit. The movie from that point on felt like if he, like if it wasn't thought through clearly. But, but honestly, the first time I saw it, I thought it was great. But after we watching it several times, it's not really much of a good movie. Kirsten Dunst, Kirsten Dunst played Mary Jane Watson. You know, the girl of Peter's dreams. Yeah. Kirsten had managed to play the role of the girl with relationship problems with the same guy three times in three films. I'm not going to say that people have tough relationship problems, because they do. But she takes it really simple and easy as if she doesn't really care about him or her relationship. Let's go to the next person, James Franklin. He played the role of Peter's best friend, well, his ex-best friend. In this story, he now knows who Peter is and what he can do. So Harry plans on getting revenge on Peter for killing his father. Now this is the reason I like this character so much. Not only because of the casting, but because of his storyline. Since Spider-Man 1 he has been planning to get his revenge and now he gets the right equipment for the job. Now let's talk about Topher Grace. Topher Grace played a great yet rushed villain. Why is this? Venom as well as the movie wasn't thought through carefully. Venom is actually my favorite villain and the suit in this film with the CGI included makes him even better. But he also did not get a lot of screen time as much as the other villains. And yet finally to Thomas Hayden Church managed to play Flint Marco to come out of the comic books by making an outstanding performance. I'm not talking about the storyline because that was the script's fault. But if everything went as the character would have been, it would have been the best. Anyways guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and remember guys, keep on swinging.